Festival 2012. And Harley, I wanted to ask you, how long is it going to be until you get the results you want to see? Depends. You know, how you feel and look. I guess it that. depends on what your goals are, where you're starting from. There's a guy here, Rich, he's like, he was 600 pounds and now he's down into the low 500s. So for him it's going to take a lot longer for him to get to, he'll eventually get to 160 pounds, 100%, but it's going to take him a lot longer because he's starting you know, at that level, so it's going to take him a while to get down there. Somebody who's maybe 180 pounds, then 160 or 140 or 110, depending on their height and body weight. The closer you are to your goal, the less time it will take as long as you're in the right direction. Yet someone might be close to the goal, but they keep just messing around. You know, they, they might be like go from A to B, but then they're going back to Z and K and L and P, but they just need to go from A to B instead of messing around. So yeah. there's two ways to get to your goals. You can go from A to B, or you can go back around the back way and over the hills and through <laughs> yeah. F, F, D, G, H, and then you get to B. So a lot of people are A to B versus doing the alphabet. How long is it going to take? Depends on the person. Yeah. And would you say that exercise and, you know, moving your body would help getting there faster? I'd say forget exercise and focus on living actively. Play with your kids, walk up the hills, don't be afraid to pick things up. A lot of times in society people are scared to pick up a box. <laughs> it's like, or, the, or women will get the guy to pick up a box and then that way, but then it, or guys will go, oh, I'm not going to train because I'm not a super athlete. Or just people have these preconceptions in their head that prevents them from taking real action in their life to get the results they need and they want. So I'd say, forget exercise, but focus on being active and have to seek adventure and, and try new things. If someone wants to go, let's go play you know, soccer or whatever, try new things. If you're trying new act activity, of course, ease into it versus you know, doing a cruciate ligament. Just burning out. Yeah, because you haven't yeah. played soccer for 10 years, but just ease into it and train smarter versus harder, but just be active and then uh, just ease into it, definitely. Right, and in terms of transitioning into this lifestyle, I know you're promo you're a big promoter of like um, McDougal and yeah, yeah. The, you know doing the potatoes and rice if if you can't go 100% raw. Definitely. So, yeah. A lot of people have the all or nothing approach. Yeah. And <laughs> same with, with yeah. exercise, all or nothing. Exactly, or, and that's you know, having fun. And it's good to have those high standards, but we also want to be realistic, especially when it comes to food, because we live in a, a society where it's it's cheaper and easier to get a 99 cent hot dog on any street in New York City versus I've got the equivalent 1,000 calories from ripe organic bananas. It's easy to get that 99 cent hot dog. So people want to have a backup plan. So if you can't get enough fruit, I promote having vegan dishes like from the Dr. McDougall, his book Starch Solution. Having a backup plan, rice, potatoes, steamed versus fried, no oil, no animal, low salt. And that way we have the carbohydrate, we can still do the active lifestyle. We're eating very slimming foods. We're not uh, overdosing on salt, so we're not getting a lot of salt retention. Yeah. And uh, then that way you're jostling between one and two versus going from one to ten. So then that way your results are going to be a lot better than someone who's like, oh, I know people who do raw food, and when they can't get fruit, they'll eat steak and chips and deep fried stuff and KFC, and they end up really fat and just, just yo-yoing for years versus my friends who have a bit of rice or whatever and stay slim and get the results and stay carved up so they can keep living with passion. Stay carved up guys. <laughs> stay carved up. Yeah. Oh, stay carved up, be passionate, be yeah. patient and be consistent. Yeah. Thanks Harley. Yeah. See you guys later. Just do it raw. Remember. See you guys later. Was that weird? Was that weird? Was that weird?